Can I be a lover? Yeah, John Rawls, my thing in here. G'day, beer lovers. A lot of you guys know that I spend a lot of time on a lot of those conspiracy channels, you know, like Alex Jones, David Icke, Darbu7, Prison Planet, you know, those sort of channels. I do spend a bit of time there. And I go there to explore other people's beliefs about reality. You know, some, some of these people have got totally different beliefs than what the norm of, or norm of society has. And I like to go there and listen to these people, but I don't necessarily believe in a lot of their crap, you know? Some of it's good, but some of it's crap. Um, so that, that's my sort of background, but I want to talk to you about privacy and security. You know, like, over the last few years, we've actually lost our privacy, all in the name of protection against terrorism. You know, new laws have been introduced in all the Western countries. You know, all our data now is stored as metadata on big massive computer systems, you know, like we do on the internet, you know, everything we do on our mobile phones, it's all recorded, okay. The latest I heard this morning was that Pakistan have introduced draconian laws to uh, overcome their major terrorism problem that they have in their country. As you remember a few months ago there was a school where te fucking terrorists killed over 200 kids. Remember that one? Those Islamic terrorists. So the Pakistan government is fighting back and they're saying to all the telcos in Pakistan that unless you can verify the account holder of every account, you've got to terminate them. They can't have an internet service or a telephone service. So that's a, that's a big threat to criminals, isn't it? Like, to provide your security to these telcos, they're going to watch your fingerprints, okay? And that technology is already on all the latest mobile phones. That's where they're going. They want to collect fingerprints from everyone. Yeah, well, certainly, in Pakistan, they've got no choice. I think they have to do this. You know, there's millions and millions of people in Pakistan that just want to wage jihad. You know, they have to do something about it. But if those laws came into Australia, where uh, we have to provide our fingerprints, is that going to be a fucking problem to you? <laughs> I've thought about it. Sometimes I've thought, yeah, I'm not having this, fuck that. But then when I think about it, it's like I've got nothing to hide. I'm not a criminal got nothing to hide. So therefore, I don't like mind losing a bit of my freedom so that the, so, so that the coppers can uh, bust these terrorists before they commit their acts and, and, and solve crimes and murders. You know, that tool would be very useful to law enforcement agencies in Australia and in the Western world. We feel a lot safer, I reckon. But you're only going to feel unsafe if you're a fucking criminal. <laughs> okay. So what's your thoughts on this? Um, are you happy that you've given away your freedom and your rights to privacy? Well, don't you give a fuck like me. <laughs>